Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? My name is Lazius K and I talk about the practical uses of VR. Woo! That's right. In today's episode, it's really, really awesome because we're going to talk about an app called Wander, which is all about wandering the planet and seeing different places, different cities and countries, all in VR 360. This is a really cool app. Pretty excited to talk about it. But before we do so, let's roll the intro. <laughs> Welcome back and thank you very much for supporting this channel. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that we can grow the community and get more people into VR. Yeah, that is what it's all about. Today we're going to be talking about Wonder, which is a really awesome app and I'm very excited about this. It's all about traveling. You literally can go from Antarctica to Africa to Singapore to different places in the world. It is absolutely amazing. And what is basically made by Google. So what Google have done is they've taken all the different pictures that they've taken and perhaps other people have taken in VR 360 and stitched them together. So you could be on one end of the street and then move to another end and it could be three years difference. So you're also traveling through time uh, in some of these pictures, but they've done a really amazing job in terms of the quality of the pictures and the way you can navigate because you can do some really cool tours. And that's really what I want to talk about also in this uh, app review, which is the ability to go multiplayer and to do tours with people together. You can see these different places. So you can do it with your friends and your family, or you could potentially charge people, or you could do it as an add value service for your business. So it's frigging awesome. All right, without further ado, let's jump into the Oculus. Okay, we're back inside the Oculus. Let's go and check out Wonder. Once the app has loaded, which takes about 30 to 40 seconds, by the way, uh, you'll be placed in a complete random environment. So you can use your head to look around. Of course, it's 360 VR, so you can look anywhere. Or you can use your trackpad. So on the trackpad, you can use your thumb to swipe to the left or to the right. So if I swipe to the right, I'm turning right. If I swipe to the left, I'm turning the left hand side. If I'm sitting down, for example, and I don't want to tilt with my head. Okay, so then you have a UI here with different options and we're going to go through them uh, little by little. The first thing you want to do is go to your settings and make sure you turn off maximum resolution because, okay, of course, the quality will be better if you have maximum resolution. But uh, you can turn it off to make the rendering faster and to also conserve battery life for your Oculus Go as well. Uh, power saver mode, I would definitely turn on. Uh, it makes the edges a bit more jaggered, I would say. Again, it affects a little bit the quality of the pictures. So you can come later on after it's, uh, it's rendered to switch it uh, off on again. Uh, you can invert your swipes, but I would not recommend that unless maybe you someone who likes to invert your swipes and interface sounds, everything else, mini map, switch it off, no need for that. Um, and that's really it for these settings. So the other thing that you want to uh, look at is your map. Map is very important because it will tell you exactly where you are uh, in the world. And of course, depending on your Wi-Fi connection, it will load slow or it will load fast, okay? So you see this little guy here, this little orange thing, this means that that is where we are. Okay. Oh, I just changed into another environment. We're now under the water. Ooh, this is pretty cool. So uh, you can zoom in by using this on the right hand side. Or zoom out. So at the back will be zooming in or zooming out. Okay. And you can also swipe front. So you flick frontwards and then it will zoom in. You can trigger, you can hold your trigger. So see the trigger here with this, with this finger here, you can press and hold, and then you can move the map like so. So it's easy to navigate a bit like uh, YouTube VR when you're trying to navigate uh, in VR 360. So I'm just uh, clicking different uh, areas to see different things. Uh, this looks pretty cool. We're on a on the lake somewhere. Oh no, we're on the sea. Let me see where we are exactly. Oh, wow, we're in the middle of nowhere. So this is uh, really awesome because generally the quality, I would say 90% of the pictures 
are all very, very clear. Uh, if I put maximum resolution, uh, power saver mode, I turn it off. Uh, the quality is much better already and I feel much more immersed uh, within the environment. Let me put uh, power saver mode on and maximum resolution off. And then let's go back to the map. So to zoom out, you can also swipe uh, backwards, but I was at the maximum. So I can swipe back to zoom back also. Okay, so let me just use the trigger, see where else we can go. Oh, Australia. I've never been to Australia yet. You can go to Perth and then you just click on the trigger and it will take you someplace. Now, what I was trying to explain is that Google have basically, uh, what they have done is they have stitched all the different pictures. So if you click on your trigger, you can actually go on a tour and wherever the car has gone to shoot 360, basically you can go and check it out. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, you'll see these arrows here. So these arrows will tell you, uh, okay, so go this way and then you'll find another arrow maybe next to you and then you can click the arrow, but you can also click directly on the street uh, to go further. Okay, so the arrows is just maybe one meter by one meter or something. And then if you click here, oh, I've gone past the green car already. It's already at the back there. Okay. So let's say that this place is, uh, let's go to, to an interesting place first. Okay. You can use the voice. So in order to use voice, all you do is you click on it, say the name of the place and click again. Don't talk while after you've clicked. Okay. Otherwise it won't recognize. So let's try. I fall tower. And boom, we're on the Eiffel Tower itself. Wow, at the very top of it. Wow, this is pretty interesting. I'm not sure if anyone can actually go this high on the Eiffel Tower. I know you can go to base one and two and three, but this is the very, very top of it. I'm not quite sure. Wow, pretty cool. This is really awesome. So, um, so you can also check what is nearby. If you click on nearby, it will tell you all the different places. So Alpha Tower again, let's click on this. And you have a little description as to what exactly the history of it and all these kind of things. So go to take me there. Oh, we're on the same level. Okay. So this is another area in Paris, but I'm not quite sure where this is. And uh, let's say that, uh, okay, let's go back. So to go back, you just click on the arrow back here and boom, I'm back on the Alpha Tower. So the back button is actually pretty cool and very useful when you want to go back. And uh, also, let's say that you really like this place and you want to favorite it. So you can go to uh, favorites. You just click on favorite and then this will pop up. And then you click on this new, this icon here where it says new folder. And then you'll see a new folder in black like this. What you can do is click on the little icon here for edit. Then you need to click the back button. And then let's say you just call this, uh, let's call this Paris. Okay, Paris. Now I'll put two because maybe you want to create different folders. Let's accept. So this folder, if you click on this icon, you can copy, cut, delete, or rename it by the way. So to favorite something and to put it inside of your folder, uh, first, you have to click on, so you mouse over, then click with your trigger on the folder and you have this. No favorite has been added yet. Click the location name below to add this place as a favorite. All right. So all you do is you go here and you'll see. So below the voice and search, the voice search and the back button, below it, you'll have a name of the actual picture. So it says 2013-06-2019 copyright Google. So I click to add with the trigger and boom, it's been added inside. And then you can edit the name of the picture. So I just put Paris. And this time I don't need to use the, the sorry, I put uh, Eiffel Tower and I didn't have to click the back button to delete uh, the name originally. So Eiffel Tower. And then that's it. And then you click accept, boom, it's inside. So it's a very quick, nice and quick way to create some custom tours. So let me show you what I mean by this. Um, so we go to favorites again. 
I'm going to show you my very first home where I grew up. I grew up in Nice, by the way. So if you're in Nice, hello. Thank you very much for following and subscribing. Comment below if you're from France. Uh, let me know what town you're from or from, from anywhere in the world. Leave a comment below. Let me know where you're from. I will go and check it out. Uh, if you want to check out a specific place, leave a comment below. I'll be very happy to go and, uh, and see it. So I'm from uh, this place here. I called it home. So you see, I have my own little tour. So it's just loading at the moment. So this is amazing. This is literally the house that I grew up in, okay? This window at the top is where my parents' room used to be. And this other window next to it where, was where my room was. And this was the neighbor's uh, patio and garden. The neighbors used to live there. I mean, and the, basically the two houses were attached, but they were separated by, by a little fence. So the garden was separated in two. And absolutely amazing. This is literally where I grew up. This is the neighborhood I grew up. All these houses where friends would climb up on the roofs and we would hop from one roof to another roof to another roof. <laughs> we were really mischievous when we were kids. This is where it really gets very interesting, this app. And this is why I wanted to show you this app greatly. There's the ability to do multiplayer. Now multiplayer is magical, why? Because if let's say you're going on a trip with your family, your, your wife, your husband or your kids, and you all want to see before you go, okay, together, you can put the VR headset on and together you can go on the tour, you know, and visit the place. You can all put your he VR headsets on and you can talk, you can create a room by create room and then click on friends only and only you and your friends will be inside and that's it, not the general public cannot go inside. And you'll have an icon that will appear where people can talk and if you're in different rooms or you're in different parts of the world, you can hear each other and interact together. That's what's really, really awesome. So I click on start room and then anyone, first you have to add a friend who's on Oculus. So that means basically add an Oculus friend, not a, a friend from the app. And you'll appear here. This is me, you see, this is my avatar. This is my Oculus avatar. This is not an avatar that you create within the app. This is outside the app. So click on the little, in the description below, I will put the link where you can create your avatar. It's one of the first tutorials that I actually created uh, using this uh, uh, on the YouTube channel, okay? So then you invite a friend. So of course, no one is here at the moment, so I can't invite, all right? Now, what's really interesting is uh, you can then go to your favorites. Let's say that we want to go to, uh, let's say we want to go to London, all right? So we go to Oxford Street, okay? So now we're in Oxford Street. Now, let's just imagine that you're a tour guide or you're a travel agency or you're a hotel or you're even, you're a shop that's in, within, in here or you're a bar or some kind of lifestyle company or business. Now this is where you can monetize, okay? You can get people to pay, you can create basically virtual reality tours using this app. You can, you know, use cryptocurrency or PayPal or do a transfer outside of the app. And, and then you can invite each other into the app and do virtual tours. And you can say, okay, so this is Oxford Street, this is where you can shop. So if you're basically a venue, maybe a hotel, and you want to, I mean, maybe you don't just want to monetize, you just want to create followers, you want to create, a, a, you, you, you want to expand your brand using a different method by inviting people to this app and with you create tours. And I think that's what's really interesting. It's got really great business applications for brand building and also for revenue generating, revenue stream uh, generation. Uh, not just using this app for only your friends and family, okay? Let's just imagine you're a party planner or you're an activity planner or you're a travel agency and you're actually gonna be organizing tours in London itself, but you just wanna give a little preview uh, to your customers before you're going to fly or before they fly out. Let's say that they booked from, you know, your own app, they booked a flight. They say, oh, by the way, check out this tour. Uh, you may want to, to check this out when you're in London. Let me give you a preview. Or let's say that you booked a hotel, uh, you know, and the hotel says, hey, by the way, we, we know you're coming to a hotel. Um, we're staying, come and check out where you'll be staying. Uh, we'll give you a little tour of the neighborhood so that you don't get lost uh, when you arrive, right? Something like that. I mean, I think it will be really, really awesome uh, to do those kind of things. So I really wanted to mention about the multiplayer uh, mode. 
uh, you know, I wouldn't call him multiplayer, I would just call him multi-mode, to be honest, because it's not really a game, uh, but I get it. Yes, of course, you want to game, they're trying to gamify it to make it more interesting. So, yeah, so this is really, really interesting, uh, this multiplayer mode. All right, so we saw a little bit about Wonder. This is very high level. Of course, we could have spent even more time there. I hope you like the tour about me and my childhood and where I grew up. I thought that was, I don't know, that was a good opportunity to, to share a bit more, I guess, personal information about myself, um, which it's okay. It's okay to do it now once in a while, right? Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, with all seriousness though, you could literally use the multiplayer mode to increase potential leads or customers or to, to offer it as an add-on value service to boost your brand and of course also to use it for your friends and your family to show them where you grew up like like we just did today or if you're planning to go on a trip somewhere i think what would be really cool though is if in the future i could create my own tours so if i went on a you know on on on, on, on traveling somewhere then i could take pictures in 360 in different areas upload it to to the app and then with my friends and family, show them where I went and together we could be in VR and I could explain to them, oh, so we did this on that day and then we'll be there. Oh, it was so funny, the waiter, he dropped this and that. So that, that, that could actually be quite cool. Then the other thing I think would be nice is if we can actually have sound uh, because it's a very silent app. You would have to wear your own music if you wanted to navigate and you know not be so silent so i think it'd be great if in the future we could you know upload video or just some sound uh to to optimize the immersiveness all right guys thank you again for supporting this channel i really really appreciate remember to like and subscribe share some love so that we can help more people and get more people into vr yeah that's what it's all about comment below let me know you know did you wh what place did you visit let me know the places you visit so that i can go and check them out and have you used this app and which places do you recommend uh you know the community to go and check out and go and visit leave a comment below all right until next time thank you for watching take it easy dj q music